coming up, we're going to be saying goodbye to a bug's land. And we're going to be saying hello to Ant-Man's land. Hey everyone, welcome back to Eye to Eye Disney Through Our Eyes. I'm Kyle. And I'm Jessica. And on this edition, we're going to be taking a look at a bug's land and saying sadly, goodbye my friend. Even Farewell. Though, even Adios. though I, I would say I hardly Adios. knew you, but I never knew ye at all. We never got but to But there's a lot of people that we're sad about when they pass on that we never knew, so. Wow. It's just like I'm saying down. I never knew Princess Diana. I mean, just make it real. I mean, this episode's already gotten real like 30 seconds in. You know, it's, all right. it's making me tear up a little just thinking about it. You're saying goodbye to uh, a bug's land. So we're going to take a look at it and kind of give our impressions of maybe why this one didn't last. I mean, I would say that it didn't have the longest run of the lands that have occurred at Disney parks. 15 years, 11 months is pretty short. Oh, you had it down like to a T, didn't you? Well, it's actually 15 years, 10 months, and 28 days. One at a time of it closing, but that was close. I'm I rounded up. You. Look, your math is not hard for you. Math is hard for me. I would not, if you had asked me to do that, we would have been like, Really bad. Off. We'd still be here tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not, not good with that math. Anyway, so yeah, very short-lived here. And honestly, this was a park, just for a little history for those who don't know about a Bugs Land and haven't been like us, it was one that was kind of thrown into California Adventure with not really a lot of planning or forethought. It was meant to fix a problem of not a lot of children's, children's rides mm -hmm. uh, there that could facilitate that part of the demographic as well so okay. i you know i think it's a great concept that you try to appease them but i think a land is successful if it appeals to all ages okay. not just one little area so if it's too thrilling the kids aren't going to go and have fun if it's too kitty the adults aren't going to phone and have fun so what are you right. laughing at me kitty i mean rather than know. juvenile or docile or yeah well, let's take a look at some of the rides that were in here. Okay. Um, they had six total attractions that I've counted correctly. So they had It's Tough to Be a Bug. Which we all know and love from yeah. Disney World. And Animal Kingdom there, which is really scary. Don't tell me it's not scary. You all jumped at those spiders and those hornets things the first time, didn't you? You know what scares me the most is What's when it? Hopper and his gang come down and it gets really loud. Yeah. That's, that's the one thing that's just like scary. Well, that animatronic was... It's probably not as advanced anymore. No. But at the time when it first came out, it was the most like dynamic and just the range yeah. of motion kind of moving thing. But now you can obviously see where he comes out. You can kind of see the... I'm but, not going to ruin the magic. Granted, so. we're a lot older now too. Right. So we know what to look for. Right. As a child, you don't know we those We know where things. to lean so we don't get stung and things like yeah, that. Yeah, and where to put your hand so you don't get the water sprayed on right. you. Yeah. So even though this is a duplicate attraction... It's probably, honestly, in my opinion, just reading them up on these other attractions, it's probably the best one there. Yeah, I think it's a good show. It's a great show. We like doing it. I think we did it. We've, We've done, it. done it every time. Well, I think we did it like two or three times one day because we were like, oh, let's just go see it again. Have yeah, fun cause it's, it's good. cute. Get out of the heat and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so you all know about that one, most likely. The other attractions that they have, we'll start with the one that's probably most commonly known, and that's Flix Flyers. Flix Flyers is kind of one of those... How would you describe it? I'm it's trying like to... an, with those airplane rides. Airplane rides or... I, At the I've... carnival, there you sit in the thing and it goes out a little and you fly around for a second. It's not very thrilling, but it's, it's right. like not thrilling. It's just... But I've seen them like as hot air balloons or things like that. And if you look yeah. at it here, I mean, look at the picture right here. You can see it's supposed to be, I guess, a seed that floats around with baskets underneath. So it's like a hot air balloon kind of thing. This is actually the ride that's going to be moved over to Pixar Pier. Which I think, honestly, out of all, after seeing all of the rides, it's the one that would be A, the easiest to move. Right. And B, it's, it's probably the best it's one. Pro it's pretty compact. Yeah. It's all one big thing you can probably pick up, take to a shop, refurbish to your purposes. Right. Because now it's going to be, uh, what is it? What'd you say? The emotional whirlwind. Immersion, emotion, immersion, <laughs> immersion. Immersion. <laughs> whirlwind. Emotional whirlwind. From Inside Out. So I think that's a pretty good retheming of this. If you were going to take one from this group, other than it's tough to be a bug, but I don't know how you can fit that into somewhere else. Yeah. Um, this is probably the one you want to take and retheme. So I think that's a good choice by Disney. The next one is Heimlich's Choo Choo Train, which... Which we all know and love because it is all over the internet. Like It's like got a cult following. It does. I think that's why everybody's like in a rough uproar about like this going away. Which, and it's so sad because you can't retheme... Mm -hmm. Heimlich's Choo Choo Train because it's clearly Heimlich is the whole train. So you can't just repaint that and it'd be something else. Well, but else. you could make a new train and, or you, I guess you're right. You know you what probably, I mean? Like, you, you could have take to start the track. from scratch. Right. So, 
Bye. I've like, heard it's pretty have a nice one. funny because he you know he talks in his little yeah. high look voice the yeah. whole time. It's like, mm, look at this. I don't know I what kind him. of voice I did there, but anyway. That was not it. That was really Good bad. Try. <laughs> All right, next one. Francis's. Is it Francis's? I think it would be Francis's. Francis's. Ladybug Boggle, I think it's what it has. Boogie. Boogie. B-O-O-G-I-E. Boogie, sorry. Not Boggle. Boogie, that's a game. Boggle's See, a game. Kyle doesn't read a lot every year. I don't do so. math. I don't read. I don't do anything. Basically, it's a miracle he graduated. Anyway, this is one that we equate to a scrambler, right? Like a, like a kid version of it's a scrambler. It's like a combination like a between small... a scrambler and then the teacups kind of thing. Except... The teacups is a scrambler. You're just in charge of it. Yeah, you can do your extra spinning. This one is already pre-programmed because it is supposed to be more kid-friendly and not yeah. Make yourself sick. Kind of fun. So I just don't like that. I forget how ornery Francis is. You know, in the movie, well, he's she the tough is. bug. You know, he, sorry, he, he, but you know, everybody thinks he's a lady because he's a ladybug. Right. So that's yeah. why he's so ornery. You forget he's so because in the, the little boogie thing, they get very angry. I had no problem with Flicks Flyers, Heimlich Juju Train. This is one where it literally looks like they took a carnival ride and slapped a, a character on it. Yeah. And it's just like, okay, go have fun with it. Yeah. So I personally. That one is where it kind of starts dropping off for me. And then you get this to... This one drops off for me, this next well, one. it's just a splash bed. It's Princess Dot's Puddle Park. And while that's great and it's an easy thing to add in, they've got splash parks at Magic Kingdom with the train area, the Casey Jr. train yeah, area. Yeah, I just... For me, it's not necessary. Yeah. I but mean, I don't have children, so I don't know. I'm sure people that have children, their kids get hot. It is probably good to have. They are very popular at other like entertainment, yeah. like at zoos and other... like. Just parks there, you know. So they're... so maybe it's great. Maybe it was one of the big attractions. I just, I don't know. That could go. The last one, Tuck and Rolls, Drive them Buggies. This one seems <laughs> kind of fun because I does. like bumper cars. I do like bumper cars too, but it's it's bumper cars. It doesn't feel like Disney. No, and I agree with you. It's still, it goes back to what you were saying. It's that carnival feel. Looks like they could pack all of this up in a moving van or a semi-truck. And theme it. Slap a new and, character on it. Yeah, and it would be no problem. Or they could just move to Idaho with it or somewhere. Right. And it wouldn't be a big deal. So it didn't feel so much like Disney. It felt more like a little pop-up carnival. And that's the sad thing about this because I think A Bug's Land, the franchise, wasn't done enough justice with this they yeah. kind of had an opportunity to try to make something better that was a problem with california adventure and instead of really doing it right like you could have done bumper cars and i'm not i don't have the best idea right now to go off of this but i feel like you could have done something unique with those bumper sure. cars that's got the disney feel to it so it's not just when we look at it, it's like it's bumper cars yeah so that's my biggest thing here is those those three ones we just talked about, I feel like you could have left them out. The Choo Choo Train, I can give. Absolutely. I'll get little, on the board with that. Because it looked like it was a pretty entertaining ride through all the fruit mm-hmm. and the vegetables mm-hmm. and things he was eating through over there. But I think, honestly, they took the best ride and are going to repurpose it yep. for its good purposes. And you, if you want to see It's Tough to Be a Bug, come to Florida. You know? Yeah, that's come true. Come down here to see it. And I don't know if they're ever going to do anything else for it, A Bug's Life, but I really wish they would because I love that movie so much. Uh, but... I still go back to, it's not one of those movies that stands the test of time. It's a good movie. I enjoy it very much. Don't get me wrong. I really do. But it's not one of your classics. It's not Beauty and the Beast. It's not Lion King. It's not even Little Mermaid. It's just not something. So would you consider Toy Story a classic? Since it's yes. Okay. Yes, well, I would. At least I know your standards here. In- Toy Story was hardcore. It's going to be around forever. A Bug's Life is just one of those that I don't know that kids now will latch on to as much right. as our generation did. Right. It's a good movie. It's a solid movie, but it's not a 10. It does seem like that this is something that needed to happen, especially with the Marvel Land moving in. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't see... Disney's good about t- paying homage to a little... In, a, in little ways to other rides like the Winnie the Pooh ride. Sure, yeah. They'll probably put some reference to Flick and Adam yeah. and Dot and all the other characters in these Marvel rides and it'll probably be Ant-Man related. That's probably <laughs> where I was thinking with that. So it'd be pretty cool. We want to know from you guys, what is the one thing that you're going to miss the most from uh, a bug's land out in California adventure. Let us know in the comments section down below. What else should they do? If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and check us out on Facebook and Twitter where we like to do lots of live interaction things. And that's all we have for you in this edition. But until we assemble again, may the force be with you. And we'll see you real soon. Bye. Take number 3,452. Yeah, this is... God, that hurts. We're going to be discussing... And all the other Avengers and Marvel people and their lands too. Da 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 da! Hallelujah! That was a miracle. <gasps> <I'm sorry. laughs>